Hello, this is Mr. Evil Cheese. And I'm Zombie Cat. And this is our review of the NECA 7 inch scale Fugitive Predator from the movie The Predator. That's the 2018 movie that uh, hasn't come out yet, but it's coming out soon. But here is the package, which I like the package. I think it's cool looking. Some of the package I don't care about, but some just kind of look cool. I just kind of like the look of it. It's different. Just the dark look and his eyes glowing. Yeah, and the, like even the white on the borders looks kind of cool. Yeah, it's kind of neat. And there's the top. And the side. And there's the side. And there's the back. And you can see a few different positions and options. And there's the description. It says predators have been genetically evolving themselves to be stronger, smarter, and more lethal than ever before. When a young boy accidentally activates a mysterious alien device, he becomes a target of these enhanced predators. Only his father and the most unlikely ragtag band of crazy ex-military agents can save him and the human race from obliteration. And, uh... To me, that doesn't really sound like a predator story. Yeah, chasing a little kid. Yeah, chase, chasing a kid and also saving the race from obliteration. So that's when the predators do that. I'm not sure. I mean, maybe it'll be explained in a movie, but that not that's not what I know the predators to do. And I'm also not sure if he is also one of the genetically engineered ones, or if it's just the giant one you see in the trailers, because there's a giant predator who's obviously some sort of genetic engineered one. But I don't know why there's got to be another movie with a giant predator, because they did that in the movie Predators, where they had the super predators, which are just a little bit bigger. Because I think it's silly, because the regular classic predator is like eight feet tall and super strong. And already very intimidating. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. Like, I haven't seen a movie yet, so maybe somehow it's like, oh, okay. Let's make one that's like 20 feet tall. It'd be so scary. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make one that's like Godzilla sized. <laughs> okay, well, then you open up the flap, and there's a picture of it there. I mean, it is cool looking, and it is different. A lot different looking with the armor from a lot of the other predators. I mean, there are some similarities, like the fishnets on the legs. And the laser gun and the mask are all somewhat similar, but it's still different. Even if I don't like, end up liking a movie, I'm assuming, I'm kind of guessing that I'm probably not going to be too happy with it, but the final trailer, all the beginning trailers I thought looked bad and just made it look like a goofy comedy. But the most recent trailer that just came out did kind of look cool. I don't think I've seen that one. No, I don't think you did. Because all the trailers I've seen have made me think it looks stupid. Yeah. It just looked... I don't know. But the new, the newest trailer did make it look a little better, but still... Still not exactly what I expect a Predator movie to be. But we'll see. But anyway, this is about the figure, so... I'm sure we'll watch it, regardless. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's open it up. Okay, so he is opened up. And I'm not talking about the movie or anything, but just the figure. I like the figure. I think it looks cool. It's uh, like we're saying, it's very different. It almost looks like chainmail or something. Armor on the front. He's a knight. <laughs> <laughs> and even the helmet, even though it's very similar in the just the basic shape of it, there's also a lot of like somewhat different look to it. Especially like the, the touches of gold yeah. in the front look way different. Mm -hmm. His uh, little laser cannon looks looks like a cock and balls. <laughs> 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 but yeah, it looks a little different than usual, but still basic, same design of it. Still got the fishnets, like we said, on the thighs, and they're also on his torso underneath the chainmail looking armor. And Zombie Cat was noticing this on the package, it shows it out, but the actual figure it was in. So, yeah, I don't know how it's supposed to be because you can pull it out and it looks normal, but it looks normal like this too. So, I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't think that looks normal because it's covering this up. That's how it was on the picture. Hmm. I don't know. I think it looks more right that way. But I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, he's a lot more colorful, I guess, than the classic Predators. Well, his armor is. Yeah. Armor is definitely more intricate. That leg armor is crazy. I like that. Mm hmm. Um, the back also has some differences too, like all this, all these crazy designs, like somewhat of a spine, golden spine there. And then his butt flap with all these crazy little designs on there. I kind of like the the red line where his dreads are attached to his head. It looks kind of cool from the back. Oh, it is skin up there. Mm. These things move around as you can probably see. Well, this one's kind of stuck. This one's moving around. Ooh, his arm doesn't look like it's attached. Well, his arms are removable. That is part of his accessories. Is apparently he must take his arm. We call them things. Arm guards. Arm guards, whatever. Gauntlets. He must take them off in the movie, and then he's got his bare arms, which that's different. Although I think some of this. I can't remember. I think maybe some of the Super Predators from the Predators movie had that, but I can't remember. But they look cool. We'll stick them on. And he comes with blades for his arm thingamajiggers. They're pretty cool looking <laughs> <laughs> blades. <laughs> and I'm if you them can off. keep a hold of them. <laughs> yeah. They're slightly different than the usual design, but still basically the same kind of thing. Let's see how easy they go in. So there he is with his blades. They are a little tough to get in. Like in the, the one, one of them was really hard to get in. The ones over here were easy, but these ones, they just didn't want to go in on very well. But they're in now, and I think they look cool. Like we said, the design of them is a little different than usual. But, I mean, still obviously the blades coming out of your forearm, so they're not that different. But I like them. I guess we can take off his arms. Well, this one's kind of loose, so it'll come off easy. So there he is with his other arms on, which don't have the forearm guards or whatever. And that looks cool. That is a little different than usual. Although when you bend it, it kind of looks funny. But yeah, that's neat. Now I like the hinge joint there. Instead of just a ball joint. <laughs> he could probably get some goofy predator poses. Like, hey man, take it easy man. <laughs> I don't see him saying that. Oops. Can you look at Unless maybe Dutch shows up. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> like, whoa. Be careful there, muddy poo poo man. He might show don't up. Don't hurt me. It's possible that'll happen. <laughs> 70 year old Dutch shows up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In case you're wondering, you can switch the hands. I mean, I figured probably everybody would assume, but yeah, you can. So there he is with the mask off. And the head looks a little different than usual. And I don't know, it's like the eyes are seen closer together or something. I, I, I don't prefer this look. No. I like him better at the helmet on. This, I don't know, there's something I just don't like about this head, and it might not be the figure's fault, it could just be how he looks in the movie. I'm it seems sure. like his eyes are too small and close together, and his jaw and like the mandible part looks ridiculously huge. Yeah, bigger than usual. It just looks, I don't know, something weird. I like the detail on it though, if you just look yeah. at the mandible it looks pretty nice. What's yeah, it? it's well made. I just don't like the shape of his head. Yeah. I mean, it is, like, overall similar. I mean, it's got the ba same basic parts that a Predator head has. It just, something's funny in the face area. We need to compare him. Yeah, we will. And also, our particular one, his eyes are wonky. They're looking in different directions. No, I highly doubt that that's how he is in the movie. <laughs> 
It'd be really hard to hunt if you're cockeyed. I kind of like his his dreads though. They're different. I do like the dreads. Yeah. This is, I think I think this is the first time they've ever had them not be smooth. They're like kind of textured. And they're also like angular. Yeah. Like they're they're like triangular or square or something. But you can definitely tell that they have like sharp edges to them. Mm-hmm. They look kind of cool like that. I like it. Yeah, that's a little difference that I like. Well, it kind of skipped over his feet, but they also got kind of a nice little texture down there. Mm -hmm. So, here's a Predator 2 Predator. We call him Vagina Head. <laughs> this is one of the ones you see in the background at the end of the movie. But uh, he's not, his mouth isn't open as wide as his. But you can see the positioning of the eyes, they're a little further apart and it looks a little more normal where this one just looks goofy how close they are together to me. Like I said, that's not so that's probably not so much the NECA's design, that's probably the design from the movie that they've tried to make it look like. Yeah. And there's a size comparison. He's not standing up straight. But they're they're basically the same size. His head sticks up a little further, but they're not too much different. He's a tiny bit bigger. That oh. one's pretty much exactly the same size as him. So here is the ultimate Predator 1 Predator, or the Jungle Hunter. Here's the City Hunter, which is the ultimate Predator 2. You can see the differences. These two aren't that different. Well, I don't have his laser cannon on right now. But it goes right there, just like his does. But even though they are they are somewhat different, there's still a lot more similar similarities to each other than than there is to him. Like they got the blades on the same side, and same sort of armor design, but his is a lot different. And his laser cannons set up differently. He's got blades on both arms. I wonder what he hunts. Maybe he hunts forests. A city hunter, a jungle hunter, and a forest hunter. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and kill all these forests. I think he hunts suburbs from the trailers. That would work. Although I think there was some forest in it, so maybe you're right. No, one thing I like about this one is the old ones have a ball joint right here. But this one's got the hinge, which works a lot better for the bladed arms and there is the super predator from predators and he's supposed to be bigger than the others but he doesn't seem to be the right size he looks like a forest hunter <laughs> yeah and they also add different designs like he doesn't have any fish nets on he's got boots on gloves or at least that hand has a glove the helmet looks also a little different than usual. The dreads are really long. And he can talk to squirrels. Yeah, that too. I guess we do articulation. So the head can go down like that. It can turn. You have to watch out for that laser cannon. Some people call it a plasma caster. And it can spin here. Hinge there. And there's a hinge there, but it seems to be stuck. <laughs> mm. Yeah, there's a hinge there, and... Yeah, I'm, it does want to move, so I'm not moving it. <laughs> then up at the arms, it's going to be a little hindered by this. Oh. That's tight. See, this arm's really loose for some reason. Yeah, you can't... Oh, well, I guess you can. You can get his arm all the way up. This is flexible enough to allow it. And then you can go out. Man, that is tight. That's what he said. <laughs> you can spin there. Can spin there. And then there's also hinge joints. Double hinge joint. And why does that not want to stay on? 
You make a spin there. And there's the hinge. Well, I'll show it over here. Damn it! <laughs> show it over here. <laughs> Okay. Find your anger amusing. And then underneath the boobies, you can spin up there, move around its ball joint. Lots of movement there. And then also at the the waist. Then down at the hips. It's a little stiff there too. And a kick out. Mm, kick out pretty good. And it can spin there. And then it can spin to the top of the knee. And there's a double joint. Ugh. Then down at the ankles, I believe it is just a ball joint. But it looks like it has pretty good movement. So yeah, articulation is good. But he's very stiff in spots, and some of the spots he's stuck, like right here at the bottom of this. And uh, this wrist here didn't want to move. Somebody wants a hairdryer. Mm-hmm. But other than that, he's got lots of nice articulation. So I'd say it's pretty good. Okay, so I like this figure. As for the movie, like that part of it, I don't know, but as for just a figure itself, I like that it's different because so, a lot of the Predators, like especially the ones from Predator 2, all kind of look the same, but he, he definitely looks different. And I like his armor, and especially like on his chest, because that's where it's a lot different. And then his back, and his helmet's pretty cool. I like the way his blades work, although they don't go in too easily and it's cool you can switch his arms to have no wrist thingies uh, articulation is pretty good it's hindered in some spots and stuck in other spots I don't really like the unmasked head but that might just be the movie's fault um, his eyes seem a little close it's just kind of weird although his dreads are cool but I mean that's also on the masked head uh, so, I don't know, I think he's pretty cool. If you like to get the Predator figures, I think he's worth getting. Because I just think he's pretty awesome. Yeah, I think he's pretty cool. He's definitely very different from what we've seen so far. And I like the armor a lot. Especially the leg armor and the helmet. But, I mean, overall, the, ar the armor is definitely like a huge difference from normal. Yeah. Um... As far as the movie goes, I'm still holding out hope that I will be pleasantly surprised because I'm kind of expecting it to be garbage. But maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I would like to be wrong. Yeah. So we'll see. <laughs> well, there's Miss Chief Jake. And I'm Zombie Cat. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Now it is time to go over the official names to the various pieces of the Predator's armor and equipment. This is the names used in circles of Predator fans. I'm not sure where these circles of fans are, but there are circles of fans. Like, people literally just standing in a circle, talking about the parts and pieces and using the proper names. And anyone who doesn't use them gets kicked out. Not allowed in the Predator circle anymore. They get tattoos. Their tattoos have to be removed if they're kicked out, so they can't go into any other Predator circles and talk about Predator. But let's start off with the helmet. The official name for the helmet is the on top of the face thing. And over here, these shoulder pads, they're called the shoulder things. This is the laser thingy, or possibly you can call it laser cannon thingy, or you can call it a master blaster blaster caster. And over here you got the super overly large bracelets with the Pokemon McSharps sticking out. He has four Pokemon McSharps that all can be removed on him. Some predators only have two Pokemon McSharps, but they're both just on one oversized bracelet. And some predators even have only one Pokemon McSharp, like just sticking out, like a really long one. They call those the Lingany Long Long Pokemon McSharps XL. These right here is his extra CD storage, 
where he keeps his CDs, listens to his various metal bands and whatever the particular predator happens to like. The fishnets here, the official name is the Hot Topic Bullshit. The leg armor is surprisingly called leg armor. No fancy name for that one. But then the knee pads, they have a fancy name. They're called the Ow My Knee No Mores, basically because no more will they have owie knees when they have these on. So they're the Ow My Knee No Mores. And then down here, like these things around his shin, like this varies from different predators. But most often they are called the Between the Foot and Knee Limited Warranty 31 Day Money Back Guarantee Shinsanati. This particular predator doesn't come with his spear, but the official name for that is the Pokey Thing. Some predators come with the throwing disc, which are called Spiky Shark Frisbee Doos. You would think that that's what these are here, but these are, like I said, they hold his CDs. The flaps that cover the butt are most commonly called the Smelly Hot Air Diverters, because that is basically what they do is they divert the smelly hot air down instead of straight back. Now that's just the basics. There's a lot more predator equipment that you can go over, but I think that's enough. You'll probably be able to hang out in one of them predator circles and not get kicked out. Oh, and one other thing. Don't call them predators. I've been doing that by mistake. They're not predators. They're yoo-hoos. Same name as the chocolate milk drink. Call these the yoo-hoos. Some people call them yahoos, but that's that's an internet site. It's a yoo-hoo. Okay, and that's all you need to know. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you can survive in those predator circles. Oh, there's also online ones, too. You gotta get on them online predator circles. The banishment's the same. You get kicked out, you gotta remove your tattoo. You have to get on your webcam and show them your tattoo every time you log in to the chat. So, just be aware of that. Oh, damn it, man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Oh, you could subscribe, Nate. Oh.